The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory summarizes the annual geological activity of earthquakes, ground deformation, geyser eruptions and so on in research efforts and findings in a series of annual reports. In this product you can find information about the number of seismic swarms in a particular year, or progress made in geological mapping and dating of Yellowstone deposits, and even thermal emissions from Yellowstone National Park detected by satellite. As always, this summary highlights monitoring data collected throughout the year. For example, there were 1,623 earthquakes in the region in 2023, the largest of which was M3.7. This number of earthquakes has decreased compared to 2,429 earthquakes in 2022 and 2,773 earthquakes in 2021. In 2023 there will be 24 earthquake swarms, which are groups of earthquakes that are clustered both in space and time. The most significant swarm of the year occurred a few miles southeast of West Yellowstone, Montana, in mid-March and included 138 events occurring at the location. As has been the trend since 2015, the Yellowstone caldera shrinks by 1 to 2 inches, 2 to 3 centimeters, throughout the year, interrupted during the summer months by lulls or slight uplift due to seasonal changes in groundwater conditions and snowmelt. Little significant deformation has been detected in the Norris Geyser Basin area since 2018. Thermal emissions do not show significant changes compared to previous years. Park-wide heat output estimates measured by thermal infrared satellite data indicate approximately 2.0 gigawatts of geothermal radiant power output, with the Norris Geyser Basin ranking first among geyser basins in Yellowstone National Park in terms of thermal emissions. The total amount of chloride measured in the Yellowstone River, which is an indication of how much hot water is produced by geysers and hot springs, was also similar to previous years. Geyser activity in Yellowstone National Park remains exciting and unpredictable in 2023. Steamboat geyser erupted nine times during the year which is the lowest number of annual eruptions since the current eruption cycle began in 2018. Giant geyser, in the upper geyser basin, erupted during recent years. The first time since 2019. Also in the upper geyser basin, a stretch of trail on Geyser Hill between Sponge and Orem geysers closed in late May 2023 due to the reactivation of old geysers and the formation of new thermal features, some of which are splashed with debris and hot water to the sidewalk. This activity is similar to what occurred in the same region in 2018 and is an example of the dynamic nature of the Yellowstone geyser system. The activity decreases in June and July, and the footpath reopens in August. To better monitor, and perhaps anticipate, changes in Yellowstone National Park's hydrothermal system, YVO scientists installed the first monitoring site specifically intended to track geyser and hot spring activity. The station was installed in the Ragged Hills area of the Norris Geyser Basin in September 2023 and includes a broadband seismometer, meteorological sensors, continuous GPS instruments and an infrasound array. Infrasound refers to low-frequency sound waves, inaudible to humans, that can indicate activity associated with geysers, volcanic eruptions, meteor impacts, nuclear explosions, 
and other processes caused by nature and humans. The sensors have already produced results, characterizing several steamboat geyser eruptions and detecting small earthquakes in the Norris area.